In this video, I'm going to explain the principles of assessment. These must be taken into consideration when designing assessment tools. The first is fairness. Chances are that your assessment is going to be applied to a range of different candidates. In this case, you've got to consider the potential differences they may have at an individual level. Your assessment should neither favour nor disadvantage a specific candidate. You should also provide clear instruction and support the candidate in understanding the requirements. The next is a principle of flexibility. Your assessment tool should be flexible enough so it can be applied in a broad range of contexts such as different industries, different people, different scenarios and so on. The assessment method should also accommodate a degree of flexibility in assisting the learner's needs. Consideration should also be given to learners with prior experience. If they have the skills, RPL may be a good alternative. Now on to validity. This should go without saying, but make sure you're assessing what you should be assessing. Your assessment tool is merely translating the competency requirements to enable candidates to provide quality evidence. Your questions, observations, etc. should all link to relevant criteria, such as performance criteria, skills, knowledge, critical aspects, as well to be based in the required environment if required. Some packages will say simulated workplace, some places will say actual workplaces, so make sure your, your assessments are valid to that degree as well. There's also no point asking questions or having participants engage in tasks that are not called upon by the unit. In a way, you're actually over-assessing and being unfair. At this point, it's also good to make sure you're covering off on the dimensions of competency. I'll make another video to explain that. And lastly, make sure your assessment is reliable. Just like a car that starts every time, you want to make sure your assessment tool can be applied by different assessors to provide similar results. A key aspect of this is by having clear instructions to the candidate and to the assessor, and removing ambiguity from questions. In this way, everyone has the same interpretation. So just to recap, the four principles of assessment, fairness, flexibility, validity, and reliability. I use these as a checklist to make sure that my assessment tools do meet all of these before actually rolling them out. 